For those of you new in the classroom, let's break down some of the basics of Lycus 101. Lycus 101 students know out of the chute that the purpose of dating is to get laid. It's not to uh, have conversations or see movies or drink coffee at Starbucks or have lunch with strangers. The purpose of dating is porking. Dating equals porking. Never, ever go out with a chick. If you think that uh, porking is not a possibility, don't even go there. And there are ways to know that you're not going to get laid. Like if she insists on having coffee or lunch or anything where you'll see her in the light of day. And the light of day rule is uh, very important in Lycus 101, and I want to kind of uh, add that to the list. One way to know a woman wants you to take her seriously is that she insists on seeing you in the light of day. The first date would be coffee or lunch. She wants to see you on the weekend for a picnic. After you've had sex with her, she wants to see you in the light of day for brunch, breakfast, visiting her family, visiting your family, visiting relatives, visiting your friends, visiting her friends, coming to a backyard barbecue that you're given for your actual friends on Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day. She wants to meet your place on the holidays. If you want to keep it to just sex, one very important rule, you don't want to see her face during the day. You want to uh, make sure she has uh, had enough to drink or whatever other chemical inducements that are, put it this way, that she would be taking with her own consent, that you would not, no roofies, none of that. We you know what we're talking about. Weed's illegal, so I can't officially recommend that you have her smoke weed with you, but... I'll bet you'd be more likely to have sex with you if you two smoke weed, even though it's illegal. Foozing, same thing. Never do something against somebody's consent or against their will. But uh, the idea is to see them at night. The later, the better. Why? Less time wasted chatting. Less money spent on meals. You could avoid dinner. Less money spent on booze. And remember, the more things you say, the more likely it is you'll put your foot in your mouth and she'll find some excuse not to have sex with you. It's like they uh, say when they read you your Miranda rights. Anything you say can and will be used against you. And in this case, it's not in a court of law. It's anything you say can and will be used against you as an excuse not to have sex. I don't like your politics. I don't like your attitude. I don't like the fact that your family isn't talking to you. You know, the more you reveal about yourself, the more likely she's not going to put out. It's the exact opposite of what your intuition tells you. You think if you get all touchy-feely and start revealing things about yourself, she's more likely to put out. No, no. The trick to getting laid is to let her blab incessantly. Make it look like you care. Make the appropriate noises as she blathers on incessantly. Let her talk about her family, her politics, her whatever. You give up as little information about yourself as possible. Because you have one goal and one goal only. To have sex with her. That's it. And you don't want to do anything that's going to F that up. Don't let her stay at your place all night. The last thing you want is to wake up in the morning and have her saying, Why don't we get a brunch? Stop it. You definitely don't want that. No brunches, no breakfast, no Starbucks. None of that. Kidding me? Do not see her in the light of day. Like as 101 students don't spend more than $40 on a date. Zero is optimum. Spend as little as possible. Doesn't matter how much you spend, she either wants to have sex with you or not. Spending more money, boys, and uh, I know you think I'm wrong, but I'm speaking from years of experience. Spending more money actually has the opposite effect. She feels like you're pressuring her to have sex. She feels like you, you, your attitude is if you spend enough money, she'll put out, which, of course, is your attitude. Makes her less likely to put out. Less likely to give you what you want because she feels like performance anxiety. 
If you spend nothing on her, she's like, my God, this guy is really confident. This guy's got balls. This guy thinks I'm going to sleep with him without him spending any money. And then, of course, then the, 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 the dark side kicks in for her. And then she's like, maybe he doesn't think I'm that hot. Maybe he doesn't think I'm that special. Why won't he spend any money on me? What, is, so, is something wrong with me? Not spending money. Very effective. Like as one of the one students believe in the three strikes, you're outlaw. We do not go out with a woman for a fourth time without getting laid. Uh, I don't mean that she unzips your fly or she touches your foo-foo or something. No, no. We're talking about getting laid. If you do not have intercourse, if there is no penetration by day three, she's out. Mike is one of one students have more than one plate spinning, by the way. We don't put all our eggs in one basket. We don't make a date and then wait for it to come along. We are always trolling. Always. Even when we have scheduled action for the weekend, we're still looking for more. She might flake. She might run into an ex-boyfriend. She might get married to somebody else. You don't know. You cannot put all your eggs in one basket. Always have two or three or four possibilities working at all times. No doubt about it. And finally, for the purposes of this review, because, again, we don't review all the tenants all the time. Just every now and then we give you kind of a refresher course. We don't date single mothers. Single mothers already made one mistake. You don't want to be paying for the next one. So it's like it's 101. I'm your professor. And uh, if you are looking to avoid commitment, avoid serious relationships, avoid marriage, avoid spending money and wasting time with chicks who are never, ever going to put out, no matter how much time or money you spend on them. If you're looking to go to the shortest distance between two points, you have come to the right classroom. Uh -huh.